that are stated in this budget were issues that we have in, in 2017 budget. In fact, I can challenge you that when you go and take sector by sector, you can see copy work, word to word from 2017 budget. Now, when you see the outturn of some of the indicators that the minister came out with, the minister decided to choose which of the outturn that is favorable to him. On, on the highlight of the budget, you can see that the overall GDP, he's using June, June figure. Whereas the end of inflation, end of year inflation, he's using the October figure. Then overall deficit, he's using September figure. And then current account balance, he's using August figure. Why? We can't make sense out of this. We should have a standard to measure all. So if you're using June figure, use June figure for all of them. If you're using September figure, use September figure, then we can then analyze it and know that you are performing well or not. You can use different time period to do your calculation and say we are on course, we are doing this. This is just a rehash of 2017 budget, and I, I, I doubt if something can be made out of this. It depends on what period are you using. If you use September figure, I tell you that there's 7.8% that he's talking about here as the overall GDP growth. If you use the September rate, you will not get it. I can tell you that by September, September rate, they are, the, 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 the growth rate is coming down between 4 and 5, if they use the September rate. And then also, if you talk about the, the deficit, it's using the deficit of September rate as 4.5. I doubt if this is the correct uh, uh, It is not.